Get out of the car now. No! Get your f***ing hands off me. Get your f***ing hands off me! Cool. Hey, if you keep this is Sean Malarkey, a 46-year-old woman arrested for attempting to hit her husband with a car while her children were in the back seat. But when cops attempt to make contact with her, things go ugly right from the jump. Hey, step out of the car right now. Yep, step out. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, excuse me. Get out of the car now. No. I will tase you if you don't get out of the car. Get your hand Michael, off of stop. me. Stop. I told you you're under arrest. What? Get out of the car. It's immediately clear upon contact that Malarkey's behavior is aggressive and defensive. Despite still having her kids in the back seat, she continues to act erratically and aggressively. But this was just the start of this insane encounter. I just sent a message and I am. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get out of the car right now. No. Did somebody say that you could come into our house? It's common practice for cops to enter homes without a warrant if there's a threat of serious harm to those inside or if the cops are in hot pursuit. Given that she had just tried to hit her husband with a car moments earlier, the cops are well within their legal authority to enter Malarkey's house. If you don't stop tugging. I'm going to tase you if you don't get after a brief struggle, Sean is arrested and placed in handcuffs. But the encounter won't get easier from here. My attorney has filed a motion have, to quash this. You hit us, you do anything stupid towards us, and we're any charges on. If you hit us, or anything, let's go. You've already hit me. Now you got a whole show for your neighbors here. I'm not getting in that car until I call my attorney. That's I'm not calling my happen. no, I'm calling my attorney. It's not gonna happen. No, I'm calling my attorney. I'm gonna tell you. Right thing now. My children are home alone. Giving you an order. It's in the car. We will my children the here. are we home the car. alone. My children are home okay. alone. We will and take I'm care home. of your children. No, you're not taking care of shit. No, you, are your mother. Your you are a shitty f***ing human being. That's messed up. You Once outside, the cops detect an odor of alcohol on her, potentially explaining her strange behavior. I smell you an odor of alcohol on your breath. No, that's my piss. That's I, your piss? I'm pissing on you. Okay. Hey, I didn't tell you to get out of the car. Stop. She suddenly gets out of the vehicle in a bizarre manner, ignoring commands to get back inside. Do you have your phone on you? Don't touch me. Do you have your phone on get you? Get your f***ing hands off me. Where's your phone? Do not yeah, get your... Or, uh, do not touch me. F***ing hands off me. You get your f***ing hands off me. Cool. Hey, if you keep resisting, I'm going to charge you with that. If you... you know what? I'm going to charge you with putting your f***ing dirty ass hands on me. Stop moving. Let me take off your watch. You. Right, the next time, up. no, the next time you f***ing touch me. Hey, get in the car. Sit in the car. No, get your f***ing hands off Sean, me. Sit in the car. he's not even touching you. Get in the oh, car. But he I'm did. not touching you. No, do you know what he's done? <laughs> if you stop you stop kicking mother, us. I'm going to kick you right in the f***ing that's mean. Don't do that. After repeated belligerent behavior and an attempt to assault an officer, she is pulled back into the vehicle. However, she would then make a stark threat that she would soon regret. You are dead. What's that? You are getting sued. No, no. What did you say before that? You said I am dead? What do you mean by that? You are... Elaborate on it if you mean it. You. You're getting sued. At the station, she claimed to have trouble exiting the vehicle, even though she had no issues earlier. The arrest becomes even more challenging for the cops as they had to physically carry her inside for booking. Malarkey is charged with felony aggravated DUI, her third offense with a child passenger, aggravated assault of an officer, and resisting and obstructing justice. This is nothing compared to what unfolded in the case of Kayla, a Wisconsin woman who made a seemingly urgent 911 call to scare her boyfriend. Cops were then promptly dispatched to her location through a ping off her cell phone. Police department. We're not leaving. Come to the door. Oh. What's going on? I have to go to work. No, I have to go to work. Okay. I'm not willing to be late for work. Okay, what's going on? I have to- nothing! Nothing! I have to go to work! I don't even know why you guys are here! Get away from me, please. She claims ignorance about why the police are there, possibly hoping they'd leave, but these officers are persistent. So you called it. No, I didn't! I don't know who called you! Okay. I didn't what's, call what's your, you! What's your phone number? Start with that. 603-85. Pay close attention to this cop. Once verifying her phone number, this cop decides to try and call her to see if she's actually telling the truth. I have to get ready, sir. I have to go to work. We got her. I have to we go to work. Her. We got a call. Hello? 
Alright. Oh! Okay, so that's the number that called 911. I, I actually have two different numbers on that's the That's the number that called 911. Oh, you're right, it was. I have to go to work! You guys are gonna cause me to lose my job! Please let me go to work! There's no one inside! Please let me go home! Please! I have to go to work! I have to go to work, sir! The fuck are you doing? Oh my god, hey. stop! Get the fuck away from me! Get the fuck away from me! Get the fuck away from me! Get on the oh my god! On the ground! Oh my god! By screaming so obnoxiously with no regard to those living around her, this draws her boyfriend into the situation. He's quickly tased after aggressively intervening, with immediately claiming he did nothing wrong. I guess the apple doesn't really fall far from the tree. Why did you lose my apartment? No, you are you are Fuck not you! Fuck you! He just lost his job. I can't afford to lose my job. Please, I'm not gonna run. Why would you guys handcuff me? I wasn't running. I was called 911 because he was because he was being a douchebag. I was just trying to threaten him with the fucking cops. Okay, that's inappropriate. That first of all, right? I understand that, but okay. I wasn't. He wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. Okay. Once in cuffs, Kayla admits that she called the cops to scare her boyfriend after an argument. False 911 calls can easily land you 90 days in jail with a $1,000 fine. Sir, I have put to your legs inside. I'm the trying to talk to you like a normal person. Put your legs inside the vehicle. Please talk to no, me. No, put your legs inside the vehicle right now. I, I have to work at noon, guys. I can't afford to lose my job. Please. Please. Put your leg in. Put your leg in. Put your leg in. Please. Or you will go to jail. Please. Put your leg in the car. Kayla clearly doesn't realize that every escalation of this encounter was all of her own doing. She tries to point fingers towards the cops while deflecting self accountability. As such, the encounter only continues to escalate. Yeah, Sir, that... I can't afford to lose my job. I'm sorry about that. So, do I have to go down to the station? You're gonna come down to the station right now, yeah. Can, please, can you bring me back now? I'm trying to be back before work, please. No. I didn't do anything besides cook bacon and sausages for us. What part of cooking has you stepping through a door with your fist raised at police? She I need like you. To work. I need you to stay calm and cooperative at this point, all right? I'm gonna have Officer Fox unhandcuff you so you can tend to your baby. I'm not yet, please. I have to go to work. Okay, what is your name? I have to go to work. I'm asking you what your name is. Why? So I can address you. Shakira. Is that your name? Shakira. You can call me Shakira. Shakira what? Shakira Flabbergasted. Shakira Flabbergasted. Okay. Shakira flabbergasted, later revealed to be Kayla, has once again made the situation worse by giving false information to police, a crime punishable by, again, up to 90 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. Bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself and I feel like I want to kill myself. Bring me to the hospital. Okay. Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself. I'm having thoughts of Bring me to the hospital. Bring me to the hospital. I'm having thoughts of a possible explanation for Kayla threatening self-harm could likely be to escape any potential charges that the officers have on her. Sir, why am I getting arrested? Because you created a giant disturbance here. I didn't do anything. I didn't know that I was resisting. I was just trying to see if he was okay. Sir, please don't do this. I only called because I was trying to scare him and just not yelling at me anymore. I was wrong. That was wrong. I was wrong. That was illegal. I'm sorry. Okay. Take a couple breaths and we'll talk when we're at the PD. Just breathe for a couple minutes. That's all I'm asking you to do. Upon arrival at the police department, she's booked without further incident. At the time of recording, her charges have not been publicized. If you thought this woman was crazy, that's because you haven't met this couple. An entitled couple who thought they owned a public street. On November 2nd, 2021, neighbors called police for vehicles parked on a public roadway. I need two 1070s here. Howdy. How do? I don't know if there's someone in the house or not, but they won't come to the door, so this might get them out. They're both illegally parked and a hazard, so I got the BMW done right now, so you can take that one first. Miss? Hi. You have an association with this car? Yeah, it's my boyfriend's car. Um, 
Can you prove can you prove ownership? Yeah, I have a title. Um, the problem was it wasn't running. That's why okay. it's been parked right there. But okay, I well, can try to push it into the driveway. We've been here for a half an hour trying to reach someone. So now they have it, and now you have I'm to right make here. a ring. Is there any way you he, could just... You don't own it? He doesn't own it. Yes, we both own it. Okay. It is our car. Is the title in your name? It is in his name. And that does us no good. Um, He lives here. Excuse me. Please. Can you please make an exception? I've it been is, here for a half an hour. I banged on your door. Got nothing. I didn't hear it. Okay. So he can, can go show not? proof and then pick it up. You know anyone owns this car? That's next. That okay. My no, friend. That, I, I wasn't that one's going that. next. I wasn't aware that you were. So this one's already car. done. Can you please make an exception and help me push it into the driveway? So that no, because you don't even that? own it, Miss. Yes, I. Yes, we do. No, you said some yes. other person who's not here owns it, okay. and they didn't register it. So they can go it, like, to the, the tow yard, day. show proof, and pick it up. She asks for an exception when she had the officer wait over 30 minutes for her to come outside. But now her boyfriend conveniently calls her, and will begin to encounter his extreme entitlement. Hello. Just a, they're towing the B7, and they're about to tow Mitch's car. So you guys should get back here. The B the B7 is is still right here, but the police officer is not letting me take possession of our car. Why? I don't know why. Why aren't you letting me put this car into my driveway? Because you don't own it, Miss. He owns it and he lives here. Okay, well, if he were here, we maybe. Both own it. We if both he, if someone care. else were here, maybe I talk to them. Can you hear that? Okay, so I have to come talk to him. Do you go through? I don't. Know, I guess so. Um, they're towing. They're taking the B7 right now. I like guess. Loaded up on the thing. He won't let me push it into our driveway. This guy claims the officer has an ego trip because they believe they're entitled to park on a public roadway. But couldn't they have just parked in their empty driveway? But now this woman will attempt to block the tow trucks from taking their cars away. Can I your business card? Sure. I need you to move out of the way. Nope, not moving. If you don't move, I'll arrest you, miss. He's saying he's gonna arrest me if I don't move. They're going to be here in five minutes. Move or you'll be arrested, miss. Wait five minutes. You're not the owner. I'm gonna count to three minutes. They're miss. going to be here in five minutes. You're gonna be arrested if you don't move. They said, let me talk to my boyfriend real quick. Move away or you'll be arrested. You can't arrest me when they're going to be here in five minutes. Watch me? Are can you, you an please, adult? Can you you wanna please, watch? Can you please stop? Wanna watch? No, you no, please, I don't listen to you, miss. Please stop your power. Last trip. chance. Last please chance. Stop your power. You move trip, out of the way? Please. It's not your car. You're in the way. Can you please listen to me? No, you need to listen. Are you gonna move okay. or not? I will move. Turn around. Just Place your hands behind your back. No, they're gonna. He's saying he's gonna arrest me. Turn around, place your hands behind your back. Her boyfriend actively tells his girlfriend to stay and get arrested, claiming he'll sue the cops. Luckily for you guys, we get to meet him in person soon. Okay. Are you are you gonna move or not? You, are you refusing to move, Miss? Can you're gonna be arrested. Can you please? Turn around, place your hands behind you your back please? if you're not gonna move. Can you please? Turn around and place your hands behind your back can if you're not gonna move. Listen, dude. Please? Not dude. Can you please just turn around and put your hands behind your back or move? The the owner of this car okay. no. is going to be okay. here in like third two time. Minutes. Third time. Turn around and put your hands behind your back or you're gonna be arrested. Yes or no? You can't arrest me. Yes I can. Turn this. around. No, you can't. Yes I can. No, you don't have probable cause. Go on to start. You do not have probable cause. You're go we're going to I'm trying to not to. I'm trying not to, but I can. Obstruction is the probable cause. Alright. Now we go. She initially moved out of the way, but soon darts back once the tow trucks begin to move. She's then arrested for obstruction and placed in a patrol vehicle. And now we meet the entitled man we heard this woman speaking to on the phone. Why the f are my cars being towed? Why the f are my cars being towed? I'm, got, oh, I'm not climbing down. Let's put my cars back down. I'm not, I'm not doing this. We've had zero warning, zero anything. You're arresting my girlfriend for park car. What the f is going on? I just got here. Okay, so explain. Less for it. Started out you pulling up like this and being hot. I was over doing a car. the speed limit. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything hotter than you guys are doing right now. I just got here. So, so what's going on on your side? I show up to all my f***ing cars being towed away okay. and then someone being arrested. Are they in the roadway? No, they were parked here. Sir, can you can you help me understand what's going on here? Well, what? now that if this is your vehicle. Yes. And you can That's prove right. ownership, now you'll have to pay the release fee. No, why? I didn't do anything. Okay. Why is it getting towed? It's illegally parked in a roadway hazard. Who money to to that? Well, don't walk up on him like that. I'll walk up on him. No, you hey, won't. Hey, yes, hey, I will. What the no. is going on? Wait, wait, wait. You want to tow all my shit? Explain what's going on. I see this well, now you can go to the tow lot and make arrangements I, to pick up your car. You guys are messing with the wrong people. You are going to be okay. sued. 
really? I probably make more than you make in a third. I, I have no. Actually. To feel a sense of superiority, he spouts that he makes more money than the cops. And it's interesting how he seems to care much more that his cars are being towed than his girlfriend being arrested. No yeah, one's answering any questions. Okay, what do you guys want to do here? Are you, you done bullying us? I am us? talking with my partner. Figuring what's okay, going you're parked on in now. my front yard, so what do you want to do? Not in your front yard, we're in the street. You just took my car for no reason. This is not helping, you guys. I don't, just shut the f up, please. Okay. Just. Your phone and eyeglasses. Do you want to come with you or do you want to go with Chester? I guess she wants you to have her phone and whatever's on the top there. Couldn't even wait two minutes for me to come back. I get back and then you go. And then I get ignored. I'd be jealous too if I made my yearly salary. And you're just going to ignore me, huh? You made a statement. Do you have a question? I have a million questions. You guys won't answer them. You answer them with the vaguest, dumbest, like, I don't know what's going on, and that's because you guys won't explain it to me. I'm trying to be reasonable. The car was towed. We were called here for, oh, for a reason. Here. What's there the reason? Oh, I wasn't go. dispatched. I came as a backup officer. Backup for what? Because my partner made an arrest. I'm a backup officer. That's why I'm here. You just got here, so you don't know. Please here. step back. Uh, I gotta find my eyeglasses. So. I may have when she was twisting around. I don't see him down here. They would have been right on top of the grass and not if they got buried. Or... The officer mistakenly left his glasses on the couple's car, so now the boyfriend has possession of them. And suffice to say, he won't be giving them back easily. Off the property. Off the property. Yeti, where do you, do you think he's standing? Nope. I'm about to about there. I'm good. Are those her glasses or mine? They were on the car, they're mine now. Well, they look a lot like mine. They were, they were on the car. So now we're good. I'm not doing it. Why are you running? Hey, You're off, not doing my wrong. off my property. Can we do I think he has shirt? my eyeglasses no, and you just threw them in there. Glasses. You gave them to me. They were sitting off my property. Off they were sitting property. on the car. Yes, on my car and you told me to get them. Are, are yes, those on my car. Are those my officer's glasses or not? Do you want me to charge with theft, Chester? Okay, fine. You want to Glasses. Yeah, after you threw them, if they're damaged, you're gonna get charged with criminal mischief. Calm down. Where did they even go? You threw them in here somewhere. You want a glass of it? No, no, they're brand new. Good Thank to you. go. What's her Yours? Those are mine. The woman was charged with obstruction without violence, and after many months, the state did not prosecute this woman. The man faced no charges. If you think this couple is entitled, you certainly haven't met this woman. On April 30th, 2022, police responded to a call of a naked man attempting to break into his neighbor's home. But upon the officer's arrival, they quickly realized the caller wasn't telling the truth. 22, there's no naked black man out here. Slow anyone down. What's up? How you doing, man? Yeah, I guess she called the cops upstairs. Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm just waiting for her to come out. Okay. Well, well we have to call. We call them all the time. Yeah. Because they're always up there fighting, the Reagan. So I went up there because I'm down here with the kids and stuff. Yeah. And the kids are trying to sleep. Okay. So I went up there and I'm not yelling at you. I'm not yelling at you. Hey, please, 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 please. She said I broke her. Go look at her door. Go look at her door. You see, she said I broke into her house. All I did, though, sir. All I did, I went up there. I knocked on the door. I banged on the door. Because I Stop interrupting him. So this is what I did, sir. Because I got a witness. We both went up there. We knocked on the door because they arguing, throwing, breaking. Yeah. If you go upstairs into the apartment, you will see that they. It's trash from them to break yeah. and stuff. So, my fault. I mean, I ain't No, you're fine. I knocked on the door. When I banged on the door, the door opens. Mm -hmm. She's sitting there cussing us out. I never stepped foot in the house yeah. or none of that. Okay. I stood out on the on the, on the little uh, steps thing. Where's your witness? Can you have her come out and I can talk to her? Maybe uh, we can... It's, it's a, it's a good one. Oh, okay. Maybe we can resolve this for you. Upon gathering a statement from the neighbor, the caller storms outside, babbling on, trying to get this man in trouble. But now the officer will gather a statement from the witness, which really unravels the situation. I'm going to arrest her, I think. This is the. You got like two seconds with me. It's cold out. What happened? So listen, they, they, all they, they're arguing. Yeah. Whoever the crackhead is. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. Going 
if you go up there right now, you see every, all the evidence is literally in the kitchen. So what happened when you guys went up there? All we did is went up there, we knocked, all we did is kept talking, kept asking yeah. them, you know, quiet the hell, yeah. you know, we got kids down here, so we got Right. The door was not locked, we opened the door, she wanted to continue to sleep, kept saying, shut the f*** up, I will right. shoot you, I will stab you, that's literally all she kept yeah. All right, we'll finish your shower, man. So, <laughs> yeah, go back inside. You're good. It's, it's a constant thing yeah. with her ass. She needs to go. Like, she don't, listen, she ain't gonna pay rent. What are you guys doing? Hijacking scooters? Ask them. That's it. That's it. Oh, now that With both statements being very accurate in nature and seeing this woman's character, officers will then try to get her side of the story, but it won't go how you expect. Email. If you or your partner are able to... Can't police open the door! You're very mean, and I don't like it. Come outside and talk to us. Why? Because I need to know what's going on. Come on. Listen to me before listening to him. Come outside and talk to us. Come on. No, it's disgusting in here. Let's go outside. What? Where are my dogs? You see three dogs out there? A white one, a brown one, and a black one? Come outside and talk to us. I'm busy right now. Come outside and talk to us. I don't need to be told what to do, okay? I'm telling you what to do. Okay, then come here. Come here. No, come here. You're going to jail. Come here. Turn put your hands behind your back. Come here. Get off me. I'm not going to jail, bro. I didn't do a fucking thing wrong. I didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. Why are you taking me to jail? I'm dead. I'm not going to jail. I'll talk to you. I'm not going down. Don't. Don't. I have heart problems. Turn around. Turn around. I have heart problems. Don't you do it. Turn around. No, I'm not. I'm talking. Get off of me. Stop fighting, Neil! Stop fighting! Stop asking me! I got one arm, I got one arm. Get down, get down. Get off me! Get off of me, Joe! Get off 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 me, Joe! Get after an intense battle over this innocent dude on the bed, she is finally placed into handcuffs and led outside into a squad car. She then makes a few more antagonizing remarks before being put away. Bob me. You're idiot. You're stupid. Bet you all you're bad, bitch. Good job. Let's go this way. Have a seat. Take some breaths. Yeah, she was. Put up a good little fight. This woman was charged with assault and resisting arrest. She was found guilty on both counts and was sentenced to three years probation. Not all Karens are violent though. Some are just brutally misinformed on the law. I do not have to have her driver's license to drive a car. This unknown woman was pulled over after traveling 54 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. This officer, having seen this woman speeding, decided to pull her over to investigate. But little did he know, a exactly the type of person he'd encounter. Officer Banks, Gulf Breeze Police Department. I'm pulling you over. You're doing 54 and a 35. Any reason for that speed tonight? Where's the 35? Uh, before you got off the bridge. And uh, as soon as you came off the bridge, all this is 35. I was going 40, I thought. No. Nope. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance. You don't have to have a license to drive a car. Yeah, she, yes, you do. You do not? 15-7, 41 with me. Ma'am, step out the vehicle. After being told the reason for the traffic stop, this woman deflects the reasoning, making the cunning statement that she doesn't need a license to drive a car. It's baffling how misguided this woman is. Step out the vehicle. Am I, am I, you, am you're, I a yeah, you are being detained right now. Step out the vehicle, young lady. I, I know my rights. Either you step out the vehicle, or I will remove you from the vehicle. I know my rights. 
Fifteen seven, sovereign supervisor, right sovereign citizen. Did you hear what I said? You need to get a supervisor yeah. on your right now. The woman demands a supervisor, claiming like she knows her rights. It's unknown what Dr. Seuss book that she read that told her that, but she is severely ill-informed. No, you need to step out the vehicle right now. Young lady, right step now. out the vehicle. Right. Step out the vehicle. Last time I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, and then I'm going to make you move. step out the vehicle. You're going to get me a supervisor out here right now. No, you're gonna step out the vehicle right now. You are going to get me a supervisor out here right now. That's fine. We, I know my rights. What right is that? I, I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a car. I am not, this is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I know my rights. Okay. That, Very well. That's what you wanna stick with? Call a supervisor okay. right now. The delusion of this woman to state that she doesn't need a license to drive a commercial vehicle is astonishing. Humoring her, a supervisor is called to the scene and the woman seeks solace in him, seeing if he is too aware of these supposed natural laws. You do need a license to drive a vehicle. And you do have to identify yourself to these officers. I, I do not have to have a license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. I do not. Well, you're wrong, but okay. I know common law, natural law. I don't law, care about common law. 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 You're in the state it of Florida. It doesn't matter in what state It I'm does in. matter. I'm in the U.S. So at this point in time, I need you to shut the vehicle off and step out of the car. I'm, I'm not getting out of the vehicle. You're going to get out of the car. Turn the, the vehicle car. off and get out of the car. Out of the car now. Undo the seatbelt. turn the vehicle off. Turn it off now. Off turn you. around. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Well, then you can tell that to the judge if you end up going to jail. Upon detainment and being placed in a squad car, she requests that she can call her mom. So instead of dealing with the situation like an adult, she'd rather have her mom do it for her, which by her character makes a lot of sense. Can I please call my no, mother? No, you cannot. Why? Because you don't need to call you. Are you an adult? Yes. Then why do you need to call your mother? To come and get me from jail since I'm being illegally detained. You, you will be able to call her once you get there. Then feeling the gravity of this situation, she begins pleading with the sergeant in a hilariously desperate attempt to escape her rightful punishments. Sergeant Turner, please yes. just let me go home. No. Why? Because you do not have a valid driver's license and you have done nothing but give my officers a hard time during I this entire but ordeal. I tell you that I have rights. You don't know your rights, I clearly. I haven't been y'all. I haven't yelled at you. You have not away. been cooperative. Yeah. I haven't been cooperative in what Not silent? at all. Just go with it? No, just be honest. Sergeant, please. You don't have a license. I, okay, I'll, I'll never drive again. Yes, you will, because you believe you don't have to have a I'll license. I'll go get a driver's license tomorrow. Well. Wait a minute. Now, you, now you're telling me that you'll go get a license. Because you're telling but yet me you that I have no believe choice. You don't, that's correct. You have no choice. To add fuel to this dumpster fire, upon a quick background check, it's revealed that this woman has a warrant for failure to appear. You can probably guess what she'd say next. You failed to appear on a court appearance for, what was it, expired license? So your Mississippi driver's license is expired. And for the registration. Okay, and the registration. So you had a court date that you missed. Do you remember that? No, I don't. You don't or you choose not to? No, sir, I would not lie to you. I don't lie. I, I do not remember that. Okay, well, you do have a warrant out of Santa Rosa County. So Where regardless- Santa Rosa County? You're in Santa Rosa County. While this exchange was happening, other officers were doing inventory on her car to have it safely towed. While searching, there was ammunition found inside her vehicle, which she was then questioned on. <laughs> Where's the gun in the car? The gun? There seems to be ammo. The gun's in the pawn shop. When did you pawn it? Two months ago. So why are you still just carrying around ammo? I didn't know that ammo was in there. What's wrong with carrying around ammo? What can Nothing. I do with it without a gun? Nothing. All right, is wrong with it. But if there's ammo, normally there's a gun. And since the vehicle's being towed, we want to keep the gun in safekeeping. Upon a further check, the officers also locate a small plastic pouch containing a white substance. When tested, it was unsurprisingly revealed to be cocaine. Give me your full name. Look at me, give me your full name. Drugs inside the vehicle, you are under, under arrest now for possession of felony narcotics. I didn't give y'all permission to search my vehicle either. Your vehicle's being towed, we're inventorying it, we're not searching it. You say that our laws don't matter to you, so what does it matter? Obviously, I don't have any laws right now. No, there's plenty of laws. You're just breaking them. I don't have to mind laws that, that, aren't, that aren't valid. 
They're valid laws. They are not valid laws. The woman is subsequently charged with possession of dangerous narcotics, DUI by consumption of drugs, alcohol, or both, and operating a vehicle with an expired license. Not all Karens are this misguided on the law, but some simply choose to ignore it, as was the case with Terry White, who on March 17th, 2021, during lockdowns was in a bank refusing to wear a face mask. An officer was called to the scene to speak with the woman, but little did the officer know how difficult this woman would be. I'll say, if, if they ask you to leave, you have to leave. My money is in this bank, and I'm going to take it out. Well, then you have to abide by the rules, that, and you have to have a mask on. Is, this is a state? It's not. Exactly. Businesses have the right to refuse service, even if you're not wearing That's a mask. That's their choice. That's why you're taking my money out. Awesome. Okay. Well, you need to go and get a mask, and then take okay. your money out. You're not allowed to do... I've been waiting here Ma'am, listen, minutes. we're going to do this. The easy way or the hard way. What are you going to do? Arrest me? Yes, for intruding on premises. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, and you believe in this? I believe in it. Do you believe in this? The laws, yes. The law says that I do not have to wear a mask. You can, not in public, my but you're right. not in public. You're not in my, public. Yes. I'm not going to argue with you about place. this. This is not a public okay, place. I'm this is a private mind. business. No, you're business. not. We're going to go outside. Terry states it's a public business. Therefore, she does not require a face mask. However, the officer informs her that it is a private business. And during this time, private businesses could still regulate the usage of face masks within their facilities. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm kidding? Well, I don't know. Because let's, let's walk, go walk outside. you've got some issues. I've got issues. That you're taking away okay. people's human rights. Okay. Let's oh, go outside. No, he's, is let's he going to shoot me, people? Is no. he going to shoot me for trying not to breathe? Cool. Come, cool. On, Come on, dude. Don't re oh, do not do that. Oh, no. Do not touch me. Who do you think you are? Point time. One oh, back thing. up, back up. Some old lady is getting handcuffed here. Ma'am, put you your hands behind your back. Here. Stop resisting. Are Stop. You, are you going to... Like, get real here? Really? Relax. No one's gonna get real. Wow. Come on. Oh, you gonna smash my head to the ground now? Now you're smashing my arm into my private area? Your private area? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. My hand is behind my back, sir. This one. Turn over on your stomach. Put your hand behind your back. The woman becomes physically resistant and is taken to the floor in front of a bunch of onlookers, in which she'd hilariously try to have them take her side by claiming police brutality. Please not relaxed at all. Right here, people. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Wow, what a bunch of sheep. Okay, I hope someone's filming this. You're hurting me. This oh, I'm filming it. This is like yeah, this okay. Like Stand up. Stand up. I hear the maid, por favor. Are you trying to speak Spanish to people? I do speak Spanish. Okay, well, stand up. You know what? I think She's getting to yourself. Come on. I think you broke my freaking foot. Okay, I'll call her. And that's my business over there. Yeah, she's going to pick it up. Upon finally restraining the woman, she's placed into a squad car and taken into custody. The woman faces charges of resisting arrest and criminal trespass. Enjoy videos like this one? You'll love the video right here.